Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the U Pike Gym for basketball action. We're here with Coach uh, Coke Williams and Coach. Tough game coming up, a team you just uh, battled to the wire here a couple of weeks ago. You know, we we brought our shovels to that game. We dug a hole in the first quarter, and then we spent the rest of the game climbing out. We got really close. Tonight, I told them to leave their shovels at home and let's come play basketball. Absolutely. It looks like you got a couple players back from injury again tonight. We're getting healthy. Uh, Haley Freeze back. Dora Odie is back. Um, we lost Elizabeth Latham down in Cumberland's on Thursday. Um, she's going to be out for a little while, but uh, yeah, we've got some more bodies on the bench tonight. Well, I know with your style, the bodies make a big difference getting up and down the floor the way you like to do. Makes a huge difference. Um, it's going to be on the defensive side of the floor tonight, though. Uh, the guards for Lindsey Wilson love to attack the basket, and we've got to step up and guard them. I heard they had an injury to their point guard as well. And not that I'm aware of, not that I've seen on the tape. She looks really, really strong. Right now, in my opinion, she's the best player in the conference. She's averaging over 24 points a game. You know, you're all making a run. You're getting some looks by the national committee right now as far as being ranked. You know, that's what makes tonight a special night here in the UPI gym. We got an opportunity to knock off the top 20 team and make, uh, make for ourselves a tie for third in the conference. Well, Cliff, good luck this evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Coach Cliff Wilkes of the U Pike Bears. Back up to you, Larry. Thank you, Taylor. That was Taylor Pinson with Coach Elizabeth Williams. So we'll send it special and be back shortly for the start of today's first game between Lindsey Wilson and the U Pike Lady Bears. This is Bears Basketball on WPLG TV Sports. Well, back to the U Pike Gymnasium here. We're getting ready for the starting lineups here as time runs off the pregame clock. We're ready for some basketball action. Charlie Pinson, Larry Cecil bring you all the action here from the gym. Always good to come out here and enjoy the atmosphere in the air. Yes, it is. Uh, the majority of the Bears history has been made right here in this gymnasium, so a lot of memories goes back a long ways. Uh, and uh, it's nice to come back and, and uh, visit every now and then. This was a World War II aircraft hangar in Missouri right here after the war, somewhere around 1946 to 48, we're thinking. historic UBI gymnasium. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups for our Mid-South Conference contest. First, representing the guests, the Lindsey Wilson Blue Raiders. Starting at guard, a 5'9 senior from Owensboro, Kentucky, number one, Janaya Hall. At guard, a 5'7 junior from Covington, Kentucky, number four, Jania Harris. At guard, a 5'6 senior from Harrodsburg, Kentucky, number five, Heidi Huffman. At guard, a 5'7 sophomore from Gamaliel, Kentucky, number 10, Reagan Turner. And at center, a 6'3 senior from Lithuania, number 13, Gerda Poliskete. The Blue Raiders, Lindsey Wilson is led by head coach, John B. Webbington. And now, your University of Pikeville Bears. At guard, a 5'8 freshman from Madeira, Ohio, number 10, Mary England. Bat forward, a six-foot senior from Belfry, Kentucky, number 23, Emily Baker. Bat forward, a 5'10 freshman from Williamsburg, Kentucky, number 30, Sierra Feltner. At center, a six-foot junior from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, number 33, Mia Greatrix. And at forward, a 6'1 sophomore from Frankfort, Kentucky, number 52, Brianna Burbridge, the Bears. U Pike is led by head coach Clifton Williams. And that's the starting lineups here for both teams. We're ready to get some action started. Should be a good one. These two teams played earlier in the season just a few weeks ago. And it was a close one. Bears came up, gave up a big lead. As Cliff said, got, to, got to shovel that back on a big hole, but came back and made a ball game of it. Yeah, they uh, ended up getting beat eight points. Uh, Lindsey comes in with a 16 and seven record. The Bears uh, was 16 and nine. Very important game first. Uh, conference, Charlie, uh, right now, uh, Lindsey is six and three, and uh, U-Pike is five and four. So 
you, uh, the Lady Bears can come out for win here. They would tie them for the uh, third spot uh, in the conference. And you look on paper, both teams are very even. Yupak comes in averaging 72 points a game, Lindsey Wilson 71. Uh, Yupak giving up 66, and Lindsey Wilson 61. Uh, shooting percentages, Yupak's uh, at 42 percent from the field, 71 from the foul line, and 28 from the three-point line. And Lindsey right there uh, with them, 39 points from the field, 71 from the foul, uh, uh, yes, the foul line, and 30 percent uh, from the three-point line. Then you go on down to look at other stats. Yupak averaging four blocks a game. Lindsay averaging 4.5 uh, assists, uh, 12 for the Bears, 11 for Lindsay. Steals 10 for the Bears, 9 for Lindsay. So uh, if you go by the... And Lindsay Wilson has an administrative technical on Yupak. Well, what's happened is they've came and they didn't have something right on the scorebook, yep. Charlie. That's the reason that uh, you... You have to have uh, uh, your scorebook ready with the scores marked in it by the 10 minute mark, so evidently something happened. Evidently you're right, and it'll be Lindsey Wilson controlling the tap. They get it into the front court, trying to work it around outside, looking, trying to look down in the middle. Out front with it was um, Harris. They get it back underneath, Palestate gets it underneath, and then Hall with the basket makes it four to nothing, so the Bears get up in a four-point hole early before they ever get the basketball. Feltner with the drive, misses the layup. Rebound comes off to Lindsey Wilson. Turner gets it down the floor quickly. They'll get it back out there. There's a deep three that's good by Huffman. Huffman come in averaging nine points a game. Turner's the leading scorer with 20 points a game, Charlie. Now Feltner back the other way. She'll give it up. Feltner takes it down inside, knocked away, stolen. And here comes Lindsey back the other way. Harris takes it all the way down, lays it in. Well, you're talking about that hole that you dug yourself into down at Lindsey Wilson. It's 9 nothing. They're starting to do a pretty, good, pretty good uh, quickly here. Yes. Feltner gets it back the other way. Try to go down inside with it. And knock away Englert gets it. Takes it in the paint, kicks it back outside to Baker. Baker keeps it up there. There's a 10 footer. No good out there by Great Picks, and it'll be knocked out of bounds. It'll be Lindsey Wilson ball. Yes, I think that was uh, Burbage uh, had a hand in and uh, fighting for the rebound and tipped it out of bounds. Checking into the ball game for the Bears is Reed. She'll replace Feltner. Lindsey Wilson back in the front court with it. They get it back out top to Harris. Lindsey Wilson on the drive and a well, layup on the shot. The Turner has some English on that one. It might be the reason she's averaging 20 points a yeah. game. They get it back out front to Ingrid. Nice pass underneath Baker. The runner up no good. Loose ball. Palaskete gets it and she'll get it out into the front court quickly. And Turner takes it down. There's a three out front again. This one no good. And he'll go out of bounds back to the Bears. Huffman couldn't connect on the three that time. And that was the first shot they've missed, Charlie. Yeah. I mean, they've been on fire here. Pike will down 11 to nothing here to start the game. Going to have to get something going, aren't they? Yes, they need, uh, need in the worst way to score. Yeah, see it go through the basket. See it go through the basket. You're right. And inside Baker. Kicks it back out. Burbridge for three. And it's off. Rebound comes off to Huffman. And Turner will bring it up the floor. Lindsay will slowly bring it across the timeline, get into a half court set. I give it to Huffman. She throws it back out top. Learn to weave. There's Turner from the elbow. Good. Red hot. And we've got a quick timeout. Let's see if it's going to be a. Four five out, 13 to nothing, Lindsey. Now you need 30 seconds. Uh, It'll be a 30 seconds. He, he's 30 seconds. The players are sitting down, but uh, he took so long. I guess they thought it was going to be a full timeout. But well, he called it a media timeout. Well, he told Merlin and them to stay right here with it, though. Yeah, he, the, he came to the school time again to, uh, you know, well, he did, but he, uh, I mean, is he going to make it a, you know what he's done? 
he's, he's called a media timeout, and he's told him to score it as a 30-second timeout for the team, maybe, you think? I don't know. I don't know, but it's confusing, isn't it? It's a little bit confusing, but what's not confusing is 13 nothing lead that leads the to the end. Yes. He only missed one shot, and it started with the technical, pre-game technical. They got to two, uh, shoot two uh, technical free throws before the tip was up, and they got left back. The Bears has got some shots off, but they're not being close. Not, not being good shots. No, you're right. They're getting good looks. Think they got a little shell shot early, Larry. You got to settle down now. Reed into the front court with it. Back out to Baker. Now they're going to try to work it inside. Great pitch back out to Reed. Reed puts it on the floor, and she's going to be fouled. That'll be all right. Nope. You're going to call it just Don't block out of bounds. Okay. Okay. That was number 10 uh, they're giving the block to. Five of six to start with, Charlie. Yep. From the field. Five having a hard time to get it into Burbridge. Back to Ingert. Ingert nowhere to go. She'll get it back. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound being fought for. And he comes away to Lindsay. Quickly into the front court is Harris. Harris with it again out front. Now Turner. They'll bring it back out front again. Turner gives it up. Palascate with the shot, no good, out of bounds. Good look of shot, just didn't have the right uh, aim on it. Air ball, out of bounds. 6'3", senior, a Lithuania lad. A little ways from home. Yes. Out front, Reed with it for the Bears. Look at that, get it to Ingrid. Back to Baker, back out front. Graykrix. And they're going to try to get it into Burbridge. And now we'll get a foul call. Janiah Hall. Yes. And we've got a substitution coming in, number 25. That would be Molly Stone. A sophomore, six foot from Madisonville, Kentucky. Well, they're really getting non burbage aren't they? Yeah, got a five, five second, second call. call. Yeah. Yeah, they're really dealing up right now, giving uh, Lady Bears a lot of trouble. Couldn't even get that one in. Nope. Looking to get it to Burbridge, and nobody was coming to her to, to get the ball. Right. And we're gonna have a quick substitution into the ball game. Kayla Mullins. She's also a good outside shooter. They're packing the zone in right now. That's one thing these uh, the Lady Bears don't have right now is somebody they can go to as an outside shooter. Right. Free throw line jumper, Turner no good. And gets her own rebound. Goes up, gets double team, gets you back out top. There's a three. And in and out, another rebound for Turner. Ball out of bounds, it'll go back to Piper. Bears got a break that time. He had two good looks. Did. Odia set to check in at the next dead ball for Piper. Reed into the front court. Reed looking. Picked up her dribble. Now she'll have to get rid of it over to Mullins. Mullins. And they throw it away. Stolen by Stone, who just came into the ball game. Nice block by Mullins. Yes. From behind. Yep. Dora Odia will check into the ball game. And she came in for great tricks. So Coach Williams going uh, small now. He's got uh, actually five guards or small forwards on, yep. on the floor. Right no good. Rebound comes off. Odia comes away with it. Baker now see if the Bears can get up the floor. Baker hands it back to Reed. Reed brings it around the right side. She's going to try to take it to the basket. Shot up, no good. Rebound blocked from behind by Harris, and here comes Lindsey back the other way. No, nice block in there by Baker, wasn't it? It was Baker. We're, right now. We're at a block party right now. We are. It was two nice ones. Both ends of the floor. Still 13-0, Lindsey Wilson. We got 4.57 to play here in the first quarter. 
Number 11, uh, Odom, into the game for Lindsey. And they try to go down inside, stolen away by Burbridge. Another There's block. block. There's a block by Odia. Burbridge gets it up. Mullins shot up and good. Bears on the board. Good break that time. Yeah. Maybe that'll uh, fire them up a little bit later, get them back to see it go through the hoop. Sometimes it makes a difference. It does. And that come off good uh, defense on the offensive end. That's going to be a walk, yep. yeah. Hall got a little under, out of control under the basket. Yes. Huffman back into the lineup for Lindsey. Upike will bring it up. Reed will walk it up the floor. 425 to play in the first. 13-2 lead. Lindsey Wilson. They give it out front to Odia. And tries to go to Burbridge. Burbridge goes and gets it. But Mullins now with it. Mullins with a little runner in the lane. No, gets her own rebound, though. Should have went back up with that one. Yeah. Steal by Reagan. Reagan pushing it down the floor. Shot up and good by Reagan Turner. Never could get the dribble stopped, Charlie. Nope. Just took it straight to the bucket. Back the other way with his Reed. Reed's going to try the same thing, and she's going to pick up the foul on Reagan. Reagan Turner. Reagan Turner. That's her first team second. Only, only Should have been her second. Didn't they call one down there? I, I don't know. PA announcer said first team second. Well, maybe they didn't call a foul down there. They, they called one, so somebody, but I'm not well, sure. It was, it was her. I mean, I thought. Free throw's good. 15-4. Second one's good as well. And it's 15 4, down to 11 point lead now. Bears try to get, like, get it into single digits here in a few minutes. Right. Turner with it out front. Drive and the basket by High. Got her shoulders in front of her man. They will take it all the way to the right. Yeah, they're just beating them on the dribble right now, Charlie. I think Burbridge with it. It's going to seem to have a lot of Christmas on the passes right now. There's a drive, no, by Reed. And Stone gets the rebound. She'll give it up to Turner. Turner gets it up the floor quickly. There's a three. In and out. Rebound comes off to Baker, and she has it. I tell you, Larry, that was a bad call. There was more contact before that, and she had her hand all over the ball. She didn't have her body. Well, I thought that's what they was going to call her. Ball. Ball. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I, you know, let them, you want to let them play, let them play all the way through. So that's going to be Hall at the line to shoot to. Well, you know what you see on the sand lot, said, ball don't lie. <laughs> that's right. That's it. Free throws no good. 17-14 lead for Lindsay. They're up by 13 now with 3.01 to play here in the first quarter. Back at the free throw line is Hall. Puts the second shot up. This one's good. 18-4. And it'll be Reed bringing the ball up the floor. Reed hands it off up to Englert. Englert driving hard to the basket for two. Yeah, Hall's a little small to be guarding her, and she took advantage of her size that time. Well, you know, they, they need to be a little more aggressive. They've not been very aggressive on the offensive end. Exactly. Out front with it was Oldham. There's Turner. Back to Oldham. High free throw line jumper, step back. And they're going and to foul. Foul. You know, they must have a good acting department, Lindsay, because they didn't blow the whistle until she fell down, and she didn't get, I don't think there was enough contact to knock her down. Who, who was it they called that one now? I thought she said 13. I don't see a 13 on the floor. Was it 14 Mullins? Must be. Free throw's good. Harris returning for Lindsey Wilson. All back at the free throw line. 19-6 lead for the Blue Raiders and makes them both. 20 to six, now 226 to play here in the first quarter.
Tiger with it in the front court. They go over to Burbage. Back out front. And trying to go back door and ball thrown away on the steal shot up. No good. Burbage rebound, puts it up and in. Good offensive board work that time yes. by Burbage. Turner will bring it up the floor for the Blue Raiders. Minute 50 to play here in the first. Hall with it. Gets it back to Huffman. There's Turner with a shot off the glass. No good. Rebound up. No. Rebound again underneath Hall and ball shot blocked. Turner shot up. No good. Ball tipped around and well, I tell you, there ain't going to be no hell balls in this one. Ball, they fight for it. You fight for it, you bring it down. That's, it'll be it's blue ball. Blue ball. That's a good call. Good call. They must have had five or six rebounds already on this possession, Charlie. Yep. Well, you know, I thought we had a couple of hell balls in there. They, they just they going to let them play through it, aren't they? I like that. Well, I do, too. Except when they call a foul at the end of it. Right. Huffman gives it up. Jackson now. Working it around Huffman again. Turner out front. Goes back over to Harris. Lindsey working it around. Ten seconds left on the shot clock now. Very patient this time now. And now they'll get it underneath. Pelescate throws it under. Turner shot up no good. And out of bounds back to Lindsey Wilson. Boy, Bears are getting the ball, baby, but they can't hold on to it. They just can't uh, come down with the rebound. I mean, they're blocking out and getting position, getting their hands on it. Just got to hold on to it. Got to be strong with it. Yep. Get, getting it knocked loose from them right now. Harris gets it back out. They'll give it to Turner. Turner on the drive. Shot up. No. And rebound put back up and in by Jackson. Well, when you give somebody eight or nine offensive rebounds, it's uh, usually going to come out bad for you. That's true. I've right, been working it around. Reed kicks it up. Baker with it. She'll try to go. Baker going to try to drive. Shot up and one. Looks like it'll be on who? I think it's going to be on uh, Paul Skate team, right? There you go. Checking in her first team's third. Yep. Oldham checking back in for Lindsay. Emily Baker chance for the three-point play. Missed the free throw. Shot clock is off. We have 22 yeah. seconds left. First quarter. Lindsay with it out front. That's Harris. They'll give it to Oldham. There's a three. It's no good. And Pitewell well, can't run the rebound down again. Got a hand on it. Enough to knock it out of bounds. Yes. And probably in the third state, it might have been out of bounds on Lindsay. Oldham out of the corner. It's an air ball. That's the end of the first quarter. 22-10, 12-point lead for Lindsey Wilson on the Intermountain Sports Network. And we're back. Ready for second quarter action, 22-10. You pike trails, and they'll have it to start the quarter, Charlie. And nice drive inside. Basket for Feltner. Right. Lindsey back the other way with it. Huffman out front, gives it up to Hall. Hollinger in the lineup for the Bears starting this second quarter. There's a three, no. And rebound comes off in there to Feltner. You reckon she's in there for a rebound? Maybe. Feltner back the other way. Go to Baker. They'll bring it back out front. Mullins again to Baker. Hollier down underneath. Lays it in. Nice go. Nice pass. Yes, it was. Nice look by Emily Baker. She's seen Hollinger fake the screen and roll to the bucket. And that, that's what Lindsay's overplaying, so that's what they need to do is uh, do the back, back cut. Yeah. Out front with it, Huffman. A little weave out front, and ooh. Ooh. Which one are they going to get? They're going to get Feltner. I, I, I don't yeah. think, huh? I, I, I thought she had ball. 
Well, I couldn't. I couldn't. She didn't get her with the body. I was blocked out. I know Hollander was there, and she had all ball. She reached. I mean, she. They, you can see nothing but free throws. Good. You see nothing but error between her and the ball. I mean, her and the body. So I mean, I don't know. Number ten or number. In my opinion, five. you know what happened? She couldn't see through, and she assumed. Right. Number twenty-five, Molly Stone, in the lineup for the Blue Raiders. Or is it the Raiderettes? Blue Raiders. Yeah. Down there back the other way. I will work in the 2-3 zone now. Come up. Yep. Aggressive zone. Baker on the drive. Backing her way in. Turns up, shot up, and good. She just took the smaller Turner to the rack. Yeah. Well, she needs to take Turner to the bucket like that. That's their leading scorers, and she's already got one foul on her. She's trying yeah. to get some uh, fouls on her and get her maybe off the floor. Turner gets it up, and there's a drive inside. Shot up and good by Hall. They were running that little weave off the side that time, off the baseline, yep. come open free. Bears having a hard time with that yep. right now. Mullins out front. Odia, and ball thrown away. Odia tries to go back and get it. Loose ball picked up. And Huffman back the other way with it. And she'll back it out. They'll get it back out to their point guard and restart the offense. Turner with it out front. Bears missed an opportunity. Yeah, that was another turnover created by uh, them overplaying and uh, Lady Bears not using the back cut. There's a three. No. Hollier goes and gets the rebound. I will come back the other way with it. Feltner. Tries to go to Mullins. They just, just not handling the ball well. There. Well, no, I'm, I mean, you know, you're four foot from the, your player, you know. That's, that's more a handoff than yeah. a pass. And just not good spacing right now. Out front with it again is Turner. They work it around back now to Huffman. Turner. Back to Huffman. Good help defense. There's Turner for three. It's no good. Rebound put back up. No good. And it'll be out of bounds off the Feltner. Yes. Yeah, you get your hands on the ball, you don't have to hold it. Number four, Harris for Lindsey and uh, Eaglert for Upike back in the lineup. There's Huffman on the drive. Pumps, goes down inside. Strong move, shot up, no good. Rebound comes off to Hollier on the miss by Stone. Mike go back up the floor quickly. Feltner, Nick, and throws it away. Same play again. Feltner, a, uh, where is she, a freshman, I know, but yes. she's from uh, Williamsburg. A little bit of freshman jitters right now, I think, Larry. It might be. She's played uh, well all season, though. Yep. Back the other way with it. That's Harris. Turner, free throw line jumper. This one is no good. Rebound comes off to Feltner. Bears doing a little better job on the boards in this quarter. Yeah. Six minutes left. It's 26-16. Hollier gives it up to Englert. Englert with a runner in the lane, good. Yeah. If she can get some space to drive that lane, she's tough on the drive. She yeah. does a good job protecting the ball with her body on her shot. Out front with it. All the Blue Raiders, that's Harris. Tries to get it down, Turner. Harris trying to get nice, nice defense that time. By Mullins, they missed, they give up the rebound. She might have walked. Block inside again, looks like. And now we had a held ball, and that's going to stay with uh, Lindsey. Yeah, that was a bad call. He called it all night, just let her take it and run with it. Right. I mean, there was no foul there. I mean, it was a jump ball, but they haven't called a jump ball all night on it. Ingrid with some nice defense, goes and gets it. I thought she'd take it all the way to the basket, Larry. Yes. She had the opportunity. They were not stopping the dribble. She was trying to get Gratrich on the break on the other side, but her man stayed with her pretty nice. Yep. 
pretty good. Wasn't able to get it to her. Baker will give it. Nope. Baker's going to bring it over into the corner. She's going to back her way down inside. Baker takes it to the rack, lays it in. Yeah. She just weaved herself through the whole team, I think, didn't she? Well, they, they kept, they never stopped her drive. You know, you got to cut off, you drive driving in the basket, you got to cut off the dribble, and they didn't do it. And the Bears is back to within six, Charlie. 450 left here in the second quarter. And we're going to have an offensive foul got call. It. Yep. That's on uh, number 25, Stone, illegal screen. That's only the first team foul here in the quarter as got a full timeout. So we're 4.47 left in the second quarter. It's 26-20, Lindsey Wilson. We'll see in the back station and be back. This is WPRG TV Sports. And we're back at the UPIC Gymnasium, 26-20. UPIC trails, they'll have the basketball out of the timeout, Charlie. And they're working, get it back out top to Mullins. She gives it up to Feltner. Feltner trying to back her way in, loses her dribble, she'll kick it back out to Mullins. Mullins, strong drive for two. Yeah, it was. And that left-handed drive has been paying off for them. These girls have been, uh, practice and talk to shoot left handed yes. on that drive and uh, serving them well right now. They've cut the lead to four. Huffman kicks it back outside and try to take it down inside with it. They go and shot up no good in there. Fight for it and it'll come out to Lindsey Wilson. Loose ball. Marlins all over high, wouldn't she? Yes, she was. All with it out front now. Pilots picked up their defense a lot now. They've, that's they have started to settle in some. They they've done a good job of defense and also on the boards. Of course, this is a second chance opportunity yeah. on this possession. And trying to take it inside. They I thought they were gonna throw it away, but nice hands that time by Huffman. Block in there by Dracrix. Probably Oscar, uh, no, third try inside Rue Akers finally comes down with a, with a board. I like that. Yep. They could have called a foul on every shot if they wanted to. Yep. We've seen it that way, but yes. They was letting them play. Nice drive for Feltner. And it's a two-point ball game, 26-24. Bears back in it now. Yeah, they right now, uh, the big thing on the Bears is not getting enough shots so in that last time out. Lindsey had shot it 33 times, the Bears only 18. No shot down, I need no good. Rebound comes off to Mullins, and Mullins will push it up the floor. Mullins taking a nice pass underneath, break this wide open for three. Well, Mullins seen that coming all the way down the floor, Charlie. She's seen great tricks there. We're gonna have a full time out, so with 2.37 left, we're tied at 26. Bears on the comeback. This is UPAC Basketball on WPRG TV Sports. And we're back here at Pikeville. We're tied at 26. 2.37 left in the second quarter, Charlie, and the Lady Bears has turned it up here in this second quarter. Yes, they have. The defense, I think, has been stellar here in this second quarter. Yes, it has. Offense picked up a little bit, too. Yep. Back the other way. They go to Turner. Turner trying to drive. Good job by Feltner to cut her off. Get the ball back out front to Hall. There you go. go back to Turner. Turner on the drive. Shot no good. Rebound comes off to Feltner. Quickly up Mullins, and Mullins will take it to the rack. Looks like Larry scoop shot no good. Put back up. No good by Burbridge. Rebound. Lindsey Wilson, they'll go back the other way. Nice passing that time down there. And a block by hopping behind by Gratrix. Yes. So Felton will bring it up. Bears could take their first lead, Larry. Both these teams come in this game averaging nine, uh, four blocks a game. That was already made their average, I believe. They have. Mullins, three-pointer, no. Now, we can see that was off from when it left her hand. Polly Escate with it. Back the other way they go. Lindsey Wilson, Huffman. Back out front they go. All with the drive, nowhere to go. She kicks it up. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 three seconds. Okay. Three seconds. Either one. Yep. I thought she got away with a little hop and a jump on one of those uh, second chance rebounds uh, the last trip down. I mean, but, but, I, but the officials the Patriots take yeah, care of that. But the officials have done a pretty good job. They've not, they've let them play. They've not called a lot of fouls. I mean, I'm not going to always agree with them. I want to say every now and then when they do a good job, I want to acknowledge them. Right, yes. Well, they're letting the girls play they inside are. the game right yeah, Exactly. No, nothing's gotten out of hand. That's your job, I think, to keep just to keep it going. Felt there with it for the Bears. Still tied at 26. Ingrid gets rid of it. Great picks. Working it around. Feltner. Backing her way in, kicks it into the corner. There's a three by Mullins, no good. And rebound comes away to Stone. Running it back up the floor is Hall. They go back to Turner. They've kept her in check here in this second quarter. Yes, they have. Turner with it. Step back two is good. 28-26, now 24 seconds left here in the first half. Lindsey with the lead. The fight will play for the last shot. May have to really want to it up. Right. Work it in the corner to Englert. Mullins back to Englert. Englert puts it on the floor, she'll kick it out to Baker. Baker kicks it back out. Mullins open for three. No. Why well, would have been big? 28-26 yep. at the half on WPRG TV Sports. And welcome back to UPAC Gymnasium here at Pikeville as it is 28-26 at the half. Lindsey Wilson over UPAC Lady Bears. And we'll go over some first half stats for you. First four Pikeville. Team stats. They were 12 of 26 from the field for 46%, 0 of 5 from three point line, and from the free throw line, they was 2 of 3 for 66%. UPAC had 18 turn or excuse me, 18 rebounds, four of those on the offensive end. Turned it over seven times, had two assists, three blocks, one steal. Scoring for the Lady Bears, they were led in scoring by Emily Baker with six, four points for Englert, also four for Feltner, two points each for Greatrix, Burbage, and also uh, Reed with two points, four points for Kayla Mullins, and also two for Hollinger for a total of 26 points. For Lindsey Wilson, controlling the boards uh, big time in the first quarter, they put up 22 points first quarter Bears picked up their defense and held them to only six points in the second quarter. Lindsey Wilson with 41 field goal attempts. That's 15 more than the Lady Bears right now. They connected on 10 for a very low 24%. They were one of 10 from three-point line for 10%, seven and eight from the foul line, 87%. Rebounding, they had 26 rebounds, 16 of those on the offensive end. They were uh, Assist-wise, had three assists, committed five turnovers, no blocks, and five steals. Scoring-wise for Lindsey Wilson, they had uh, Turner. She comes in averaging 20 points a game. She had 10 the first uh, half. Uh, Hall had nine, two points for Harris, five points for Huffman, and uh, two points for Rosemary Jackson as they had 28 points. So the, uh, the largest lead for Lindsey Wilson was 14 points in the first quarter at the three minute mark. Fightville has not led. They've been no lead changes as Lindsey has led from the out go. So we're at the half, 28-26. Lindsey Wilson over UPAC with Lady Bears. We're sitting at back station. Be back shortly for the start of the second half. This is WPRG TV Sports. We're at the half, it's, and we're back here at the College Gym in Pikeville as we're at the uh, half, about ready for the second half action to start, 28-26. Lindsey Wilson over UPIC, and Tony Lindsey got out to a 22-10 lead in that first quarter, was hitting everything that you threw up, dominating the boards, and 
Bears uh, got it out again to head him to six points in that second quarter. Just watching Coach Kelly Wells, athletic director Kelly Wells now. After doing everything, he's even collecting the balls from one of them. Yeah, jack of all trades. Yeah. He is master of them all. Yes, he is. <laughs> and Bears, like I say, down by two, had a chance to take the lead on a three at the buzzer. They couldn't do it. It looks like they may get the ball to start the second half, according to if, if what we see is correct. Right, well, according to the scoring table, and they managed to come back and get a tie at 26 to 26. Had a couple opportunities to take the lead, couldn't score, and uh, Lindsey went down and scored a bucket. But uh, as you said, Mullins had a chance at a good open look from the three-point line at the buzzer at the end of the first half, wasn't able to knock it down. So Bears will have it start this second half, and here's all the action starting the pitch. Thank you, Larry, and Pine will bring it into the front court with Feltner. Feltner gets it back over to Ingrid. She puts it on the floor, looking, picks up a dribble, though, gives it back out top now to Feltner. Feltner working it around, they'll kick it back. Burbridge, and they try to go inside. Great picks, there's a three, Ingrid, good. First lady of the game. Bears lead 29 to 28 for the first time. And here comes that. That may be serving notice, Larry. The right move. That is good ball movement at that time. And she was wide open. Oh, beautiful yeah. steal by Burbridge. She loses it back. And they'll kick it into the corner. There's a three by Huffman. Way off. Great picks. Balance the rebound to herself. Finally runs it down. Kicks it back now to Baker. And they'll start their offense again. Great hustle that time of Great Tricks. She never gave up on it. I like the fire they've come out with here. They're, they're coming after them defensively her in a hurry. Got to go down inside the Baker. She's double teamed. She'll kick it back out to Feltner. Ingert driving. Has it blocked out of bounds. And <laughs> here is she standing out of bounds. Well, she was stepping out of bounds. She looked up. It was coming right down the owner, and uh, she couldn't get out of the way. If she could have uh, gotten out of the way, uh, Paula Skate, uh uh, would have uh, it would have been out on her. She had a block. You're right. Out front with it. Lindsey Wilson working. Turner now. Turner will try to drive. Great tricks. Nice defense inside. And she's on the base. She's out of bounds. Yep. Yeah. I thought Mitchell she was going to call something else. I wouldn't. Well, have. she was trying to give time out, but yeah. Then she, and and I thought she started to give it to her. And then she looked down and seen her yeah. sitting on the uh, well, line. She's only two foot out of bounds. Right. <laughs> Back the other way with it, Feltner. Over here on the left side with it. Got to give her a bit of further down. A bit further down, that's right. Feltner, nice drive, pulls up just inside the free throw line, can't get the bounce, rebound. Comes away to Lindsey Wilson. Turner pushing it up the floor. Turner will back it back out. They'll start their offense again. That's Huffman. Lindsey's not been shooting the ball well since the first quarter so far. There's a drive, and if they give it the basket, there's no continuation. And They gave it to her. They might not be none in college, but they were tonight. Yeah, they are tonight. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, she obviously blew the whistle before the shot. So Hall at the free throw line to try to tie it, looks like. No, I'd give, give him a two point lead. I'm yes. sorry. And does. Feltner will bring it back up the court now for the Bears. Go back to Ingrid. Probably should have shot that when she was open. Yes. Looking inside, up, and Bears got a break there. Grab a bad pass. Right. Pyro will keep it. Like I say, spacing still been a problem for the Bears. Throw it back out top to Feltner. Feltner trying to go down inside, and it's going to be saved by the Bears. Feltner has it blocked, and still. Well, it's ugly. Here, what it was. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I got a little bit worried, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. That looks like the playground there. Yeah. Both teams are battling, though. There they are. Out top with it is Harris. She gives up and will run that weave again, Feltner. Nice, good defense that time for the Bears. Free throw line jumper, good for Pelesquete. 
And it'll be Pike will bring it back up now, trailing by four, 33-29. They got it leading the basket here, Larry, to not let themselves get in the hole they got into in the first half. Right. And we're going to get a foul called on Harris. Yes. Called for the trip. That's yeah, the team's first. Don't have the option of, well, I guess they do. They're just not using it of how many fouls it is on each player. So we yeah. just have tried to listen to the PA announcer and get that. Must be a problem with that because PD could do it. Yes. Felder gets it back. Gratrix kicks it back out to Baker. Into the corner. <laughs> Engler couldn't hold on to it. Ball's knocked loose, stolen. Harris taking it all the way to the other end. Shot up and good. Baker yeah. got back. She just couldn't get to it. Right. Six-point lead again for Lindsey Wilson. About digging themselves in a hole again here. And... Ball blocked, but went back and getting it. Baker gets the rebound, puts it up, no good. We're going to get a foul again on Harris. And UPAC's best two rebounders, Burbage and Baker, in their battling, end up with two foul shots. Baker's first one's good. She was the leading scorer for the Bears in the first half. Odia checking back into the ball game and also checking back in for the Bears is Reed. Burbage, this is the second one. Burbage come in averaging 6.8 rebounds and Baker 6.1, so they've got who they want to battle on the board. It's just not bad if yeah. hurt any uh, buckets. Shot good on the baseline down there for Hall. 37-30, Pike will curling now with 5.55 to play here in the third. Reed. That's the overplay to Charlie in the first half. When they jump out and overplay, you got to Three, play. Reed, no good. you got to cut to the bucket. Yeah. They're not moving well without the ball, it doesn't look like, do they? No. Turner will bring it into the front court down for the Blue Raiders. Well, they escape there. They go underneath, and Turner lays it in. That's a tough shot, too. Give and go, yep. Timeout called by the Bears, 39-30. Lindsey Wilson leading with 5-19 to play. And it's a full timeout. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome back to you, Pike. 519 left in the third quarter as Lindsey Wilson had a two-point lead to half. Pikeville comes out, hits a three, takes a one-point lead, Charlie, and has been scored, outscored by 10-0 since then. Yep, down 30, down 39-30 now with 5-10 to play here in the third. Reed with it out front looking, goes back to Odia. Back to Reed. Reed a deep three and is way off. Well, he's got that. Hey, why she went got that one? The Burbage yeah. will take the basket. Right. Yeah. That was a good play. And he coach doesn't want to know. Coach wants to know why, too. Yeah, Coach will let her know. He said, 30 years I've been doing this. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> nice guy. I want to put that out there. I'm not making fun of him. Out front. Lindsey with it. Hart Harris. Try to go inside the hall. Shot up. No. And Burbage battling for it. Comes out of there with it. Well, I tell you, nothing comes easy under the bucket on either end tonight. Timeout on the floor. We've got a full timeout. 39 to 32 with 427 to play here in the third on the Intermountain Sports Network. We're back at the college gymnasium here in Pikeville. It's 27 left third quarter, 39-32. Lindsey Wilson with the lead, and you Pike will have it on their own baseline, Charlie, when we get back to uh, play. Yep, Odia will throw it inbounds now for the Bears. And they'll get it back out top to Reed. 
Reed looking, nowhere to goes into Baker. Baker posted up, turn shot, no. Rebound comes off. And quickly up the other way is Turner. They'll work it down into the corner to Harris. Back out to Turner. Four minutes left here in the third quarter. Seven point lead for Lindsey Wilson. Turner driving the other way, lays it in. Got, got that double screen. They set a screen on both sides of the foul line. They just drive all the way around top of the circle and down the lane, you know. And if the defense don't, you don't get no help defense or you can't get through those screens, you're open. Yep. Burbridge with it. Fires it across. Baker trying to go inside. Grapich, nowhere to go, has it blocked. Burbridge tries to knock it down, and who are we going to call on this one? Baker. Really? Yeah, she reached in. I thought she might have reached in early, but then they both started fighting for the ball. Then what do you call? Well, she reached in, though, and knocked it loose yes. when they started fighting with it. Hollinger coming in for great trips. Yep. We've well, seen Latham tonight. Is, uh, Latham's hurt. She got an ankle injury. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't see the bench very well from where we're sitting, yeah. so I didn't know if she was on the bench or not. Harris working with it. Turner goes cross court to Harris. Rolls in. A little floater down the lane. Bears down by 11 now, 43-32. Working around trying to get something going. Three, no. Bears have not had anything from the outside here tonight, Larry. No. Don't think they've hit a three-pointer yet. I don't well, know. yeah, they've hit one. Yeah. Yeah, it was that one first of the half here. Yeah, one of eight. They were trying to get it back down inside. Ball tipped away. Nice hustle by Reed. And good defense yeah. by... Uh, that was uh, Turner. Turner. <laughs> Got to hold that ball on your hip away from the defender and let him go by. They throw it over top. Mullins. Mullins with it. Gives it back out top now to Feltner. Baker. Trying to back her down inside. Baker, nice move. Goes underneath. And we're going to have a foul on Lindsey Wilson. And that's going to uh, go against uh, Paula Skatey. Her second. Team's third. Burbridge at the line shooting two shots. Another nice assist. Well, it won't go down as an assist because it wasn't a made bucket, but drew the foul. But nice pass uh, that time from Emily Baker. One more free throw coming for Brianna Burbridge. Second one's good. 43-34. Bears can try to set their full court pressure up now. It looks like a 1-2-2. Two, two. And Bill Burbridge, <laughs> I can hear the little smack all the way up here. Yeah. No question, it was all about it. Wasn't yes, it? you could. Into the front court with it, Lindsey Wilson. Harris out top. Go back to Turner. Turner with it. Double team, gets it inside, get it inside. Spin move, Holly, might have got a block early. I think she might have got a finger on it. I will bring it back the other way, Feltner. Feltner over on the right side, looking in. Try to go, oh, Holly, a nice catch. She'll kick it back. Baker will bring it back out. Had a shot, passed it up. Yeah. Three, go, Mullen. She needs to get her game started. Yes. That's got the crowd in. Football team getting excited over there. Yes. That may help them somewhere. Out top with it now, Harris. Always helps get a little support. Yep. And Holly, don't she get? She didn't get a finger. Right? She changed it. Shot up, good, and one. And that might go against Mullins. 
They put Harris on the free throw line for one. Yes, that's going against Mo. That's her second team's third, but as you said, be an and one opportunity. One ten left here in this third quarter. See if it's a repeat of the second, the first half. Bears come out and play much better in the next half. You know, next period. Right. Missed the free throw. Still 45-37. One minute, five to play here in the third. Back the other way, Feltner. Back out front to Mullins. Feltner. Little rub there by Mullins. Feltner gets it back outside to Baker. Nine seconds on the clock. She might try to get a shot off here, Larry. Baker under trouble tries to go inside the Burbridge, and we're going to have a shot clock violation if they don't get one up. Good to sticky defense yeah. that time by Lindsey. Oldham and Pelescote back into the ball game. Thirty-eight seconds left here in the third quarter. Forty-five thirty-seven. Lindsey Wilson. Harris with it out front. Now wait a minute. She's pushing her off with her off hand, and, they, and Burbridge has her hands down. Doesn't grab at her. Why you call that a foul? I don't know. I didn't see it. And they're getting a, whistle happy. This is going against Hollinger. And that's going to put them at the line for two shots. Are they going to tighten up now toward the end of the game after they've been playing all night? Well, that the Hollander foul, the last one, well, I, I seen that. I, one, I couldn't see it, but, you know. The first one, I, I didn't. I didn't see it. I thought he was going to call an illegal screen myself. I did that or, or warding off with her off hand. Right. Three throws good. 47-37, 10-point game. Into the front court with it, Feltner. And they've got to get it back out to Feltner. She's open for a three, and it's no good. Burbage with the rebound, puts it up and in. And needs to be up, only six seconds yeah. left. Don't give them a cheap one. And they're got to go back, they'll kick it back outside. There's a three, it's good. Kill it. Yep. 50. 39, Lindsey Wilson at the end of three on WPRG TV Sports. And we're back at U Pike, ready for fourth quarter action, 50 39. Lindsey Wilson with the lead on the big three point shot right at the buzzer, Charlie, as uh, Harris knocks it down. Took momentum away from uh, the, what five won the game. They took it all away. Uh, you're right, Lindsey. We'll get the ball to start the fourth quarter. 11 point lead now for Lindsey Wilson. They get it back. Turner. There's a three. It's good by Huffman. They've uh, had 15 more shots than you pack right now. Difference in the ballgame. Yes. Feltner with it out front. Hollier across the drive. It'll be out of bounds off her foot. Just underway here in the third quarter. Lindsey will bring it back up the floor. Got a 1 2 1 1 zone. Yep. Our back goes back to Huffman. Back up top again, Potwell are extending their defense out, making them work anyway. Right. Now if they can just get, you know, keep them from scoring here. Well, they, they'll have to, as hard as they're hedging out on, they'll have to keep them from doing the back cut to the bus. Yep. That's a good one right there, wide open for Turner. Yeah, she caught a little screen on the side of the free throw line and come around it and broke wide open. Back to Will Pikeman with it out front. Trailing 55-39. That's their biggest deficit of the night. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to get something. They've got to have some baskets. Mullins on the drive, and she'll be going to the free throw line. Holly Escote will get the foul. Yes. Probably 
Free throw is good. Looking good. Got one more. Looking good. You're right. That's eight points for Mullins. She'll have a chance for one more. Yep. Makes them both. She's our leading scorer right now. 55-41. Bible back in that one three. Looks like a one. It's a one two one one. What okay. it is. Ball loose. Here comes Burbage. She's gonna take it all the way in and no foul. Shot up and good. Those with players will take it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. comes away. Back the other way, Harris gets it down in, she'll have to bring it back out. Out front with it, Huffman. Back he goes to Harris, they'll bring it back out to Hall. Huffman, thought she's gonna take the three, that'll be a three out front, it's way off. Rebound comes off the Burbridge on the miss by Turner. Don't see Turner miss that bad very often. No. Back, back with it, Feltner driving in the lane, a little jump stop off the glass, good. That's a good shot, going to her left. And let's see, now the coach calls for a 30 second, let's yep. see what we get. It's a 30 second timeout, we'll stay right here with it. Well, they're letting them sit down again though. 55, 45, we're just gonna stay here and take, take our chances, Larry. Might as well. Uh, you know, they got to make up a mind here. One says media timeout, the other calls it a 30 second timeout. So, and then the players go over and sit down, which they don't supposed to do that during the 30 second timeout. Yep. 741 left, 55 45. The Lady Bears trail by 10, and they, they made that three point shot right out of the uh, halftime. So he took that one point lead and it's been all easy since. It has, you know, they make, make a little run right here if they can continue to play. They really got to turn the defense up. Yeah, they got to have some stops. I mean, down by 10 right now with 7.41 to go. Of course, they was down by 16 just a short time ago, so the Lady Bears has cut into that stuff. They're going to need multiple stops here, though. Yes. Yeah, defense, they, they've uh, got one turnover off the press and got to both get out of it. So that's what they need to do. They need to turn them over. And they set up again in that one, two, one, one press. I will really defense, defensing it up here. They get it in front court. Huffman will take the three. It's in and out. Rebound. Oh, nice job in that ball deal. Yes. She just went up and took that one away, didn't she? She did. On, on the shot. Yep. Feltner with it the other way. Feltner picks up her dribble. She'll get it now to Baker. Emily will kick it back out to Feltner. Elbow jumper, good. Well, now she can pick her game up, start knocking some shot downs that'll help her open the inside up a little more. Well, they cut it to single digits here with seven minutes to play. And Turner gives it back. They'll pick it back outside to Huffman. And I almost lost it. Yes. Back to Turner. They're working around again to Hall. Huffman, they're kicking it outside. Potter really staying with him on the man-to-man -man here, Larry. Not getting beat on the well, they just, As I said, well, O.D. ain't by hell of hand on that one. Might have. Back the other way quickly is Feltner. She'll kick it back to Mullins with the drive. Missed it. Rebound comes off to Lindsey Wilson. Mullins for the, on the yeah. rebound. That's only the second team foul. I believe that's her third. Had opportunities just uh, short on that when uh, Mullins did. Yeah. She, she broke open. Bible again with the pressure. That's giving Lindsey some trouble. They beat it this time. Turner now will restart the offense. 6-10 to play, 55-47. Harris, back to Turner. Working it back over to Harris again, looking. Hold him. Four seconds on the shot clock. And it rolls off. Oh, no. And we'll be a, uh, a foul on uh, Paul Descartes. Yep. 
That thing went around the rim about three times, did it? Yeah, I thought it was going to stop her for a I did too. That's uh, Paula Skate's uh, fourth foul, so she'll have to go to the bench. So that's a big loss as far as rebounding yeah. size on the inside for Lindsay. Tell they're out front with it for the Bears. Picked up her dribble, gives it back out to Odia. Odia with it. Pulls up for the shot, short. Rebound, and it'll be free throws for Brianna Burbridge. That's three team fouls. Odom's first. Burbridge can cut it to six. Makes the first one. Plenty of time, Charlie, 5.30 left. Yes. Hoffman back into the ball game now for Lindsay. Burbridge with one more free throw coming. And it's short. Rebound comes off to Lindsay Wilson. Harris into the front court. They'll get it back over to Huffman, back up top to Turner. Back over to Hall. And they're going to call up against Odia. They could have called the walk before the foul, though. Well, she, she, and they're going to give her two shots. Well, she got all the way from just about the free throw line to the block without putting it on the floor. Right. Missed the free throw. 5.17 left. Bears 12 by 7, 55-48. Low scoring the fast. Yes. Both these teams come in averaging 72 points a game. Our right, second free throw, no good. Bears dodge a bullet there. Yes. Back the other way with it, Feltner. Feltner trying to back her way in the lane, picks up her dribble. And ball tipped. So it'll be run down by Odia. And she'll get it back to Feltner now. And we'll have a foul. And the official's going to talk about it. Was that Turner? It's what I think, but I'm not sure. It will be Turner. And they'll give it to him on the baseline, no shots. Since she's passing it. Yeah. Okay, that's why I guess that's what they had the discussion for. Yeah. Baker with it out front. Good got, Feltner. Got a reset on the shot clock out of that. Yep. How you reset the shot clock? Wasn't the, oh. And rebound comes off inside to Hall. 55-48. And trying to set the pick. Nothing there. This time, Bears fight foot. And <laughs> block in there by Odia. Let's see. That would be number five. Inside, Burbridge up and good. And it's a five-point game. Four minutes left. And that'll be on Odia. Yes. That's probably giving them, that's not giving them two points on put Turner at the free throw line. I'd rather make, take a chance on that shot than, that, than give her the free throw, I believe. Right, let's see what she's, well, I'm going to bet she's 80 or better. Makes the first one. 84. Okay. You can just tell she's a shooter. Just like you, uh, you, when she's the lad, you don't celebrate when she makes. Yeah. You celebrate when she misses. Yep. Makes them both. 57-50. Four minutes to play exactly. Feltner will bring it into the front court. Feltner gets it over to Mullins. Mullins on the drive, gets it up to Baker. Emily Baker lays it in. Mullins picks herself up off the floor. I don't know what happened there. Well, Baker's man, they come over and double teamed her. After the pass, she went to the floor. Up and into the front court, gives it up now to Turner. Proud getting into it over there. Yes. 
Out front with it, Huston. Harris on the drive. And now that's going to be four on Mullins. That's, 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 on her. that's a foul. But that was a foul in the first half when they weren't calling it. I, that's one thing, you know, a foul should be a foul whenever, any time in the game, shouldn't it? Should be. And that's going to be two shots. Hall at the line. And did he say it wasn't that Mullins' his fourth, I think? I think you're right. And we'll be shooting two from here right out. Football team getting fired up over. They are. Getting behind these girls. Yep. And they're getting the chance going again. Worked first time they said. And worked second time. It is. She will not get any piece of the free throw line now. Or? No. Back the other way, Feltner. Bears with the score here. Can cut it to a one possession game. Bourbon's working her way underneath. Kicks it back into the corner. Ingrid shot up, no, but that'd be a foul. Harris. Third, third. And that's five team fouls. Of course, this will be two shots, but it'll be two shots from here on out for yeah. UPI. For both teams. Well, for both teams, too, you're right, because UPI has four fouls. The next one will put them there. Roll in there for it. And it does. Friendly bounce. Getting the, getting the bounces right now because on the other end, that rolled all over the rim and fell off. Makes them both. Timeout, Piper. It's a full timeout. 57 54, three point game. 256 to play on the Intermountain Sports Network. And we're back. 256 left. It's 57 54. The Lady Bears has. Clogged the way back into this for Charlie. Only a one possession game. You're right. And let's see, they'll bring the press again. The one, two, one, one, as we call it. And the defense is really what's brought them back yes. right now. And Larry. Ten second call. I tell you, they, they, they really went after that loose ball. And they, they gave them a break. Yes. They can tie it with a three. Feltner in the front court now for the Bears. Looking and they're trying to get it down, on, down underneath. They got Burbridge and Odia down in there. Feltner kicks it into the corner. There's the tie. No. And Odia with the rebound. Nice, smart move that time. Kick it back out. Reset your offense. Yeah. Make sure you get a good look here. And that was a good look. Don't get me wrong. Oh, it was, yes. And Feltner will go to the line. That'll be a foul on, on Turner. Turner, yep. Yes. That's her third. Be two shots. Feltner. She can make it a one-point game, Larry. 215 left. Nails the first one. Anybody's game right now. One more free throw coming. Rolls off. And here comes Turner bringing it into the front court now for the Blue Raiders. Harris goes over to Hall. They are working out trying to get it. Bears need to get a good stop right here. And that hell's ball, and that's going to go to you, Pat. Yep, I mean, again. And in the first quarter, was not a hill ball. Right. There's a takeaway. Well, she never did get away from that time. No, okay. <laughs> now they blew the whistle too quick. Right. Back away, Feltman. Nice pass, Baker. Tie ball game. We're tied at 57, 142 left. Good defense, no fouls now, Charlie. Or defense in the foul. Yeah, and that's what you didn't want because yeah. you're putting Turner. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You, you know, yeah, that's 84% free throw shooter. You need to know where she's at and not foul her. Right. Well, you know, you got to understand the situation. Yeah. You're trying to get a turnover. You've tied it. 
So don't don't give him a chance to go back. Yeah, don't give him the easy shot. Right, right. Well, Turner missed for first. That football jinx over there might be working. Maybe so. They missed their last three. There they are, riding them hard. You're right. Missed it again. Good. Now the Bears with a chance to take the lead. Felton are in the front court. The Bears need to be patient and get a good look. They try to go inside to Baker. Baker. Yep. And Turner, that's going to be fair on her. You know, they're, they're complaining about the foul. Actually, there was a foul out on the floor before that, and they didn't call it. Right. Well, and, and what's happening, Charlie, you see it a lot of times. You try to let them play, and they play a good game, you know, and you don't get a lot of whistles as Baker misses the free throw. And then it's coming down to Nitty Gritty. It's a right down to crunch time tie game, and they tied it up. Yeah. They tighten up themselves. Yeah, right. that's what I say. You you see that a lot. Miss the both. Throws. Neither team hitting the free throws. No. Hall gives it up to Harris. And Baker's usually a good free throw. Yes. And of course, Turner is too. Yeah. Defense, 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 defense. I think the crowd's getting too lazy a little bit. I think so. Yeah. Oh, Brianna Burbage with the steal. She's going to take it down and gives the Bears the lead with under a minute to play. And that's her largest lead of the night. Two yeah. points. Oh, in the front court. They'll throw it back to Huffman. Huffman will hand it back. Working it around, they go. That Turner. Turner. Back out top again to Huffman. There's a shot. No good. Rebound bump or Odia. And they don't need to score. He needs to hold it up, Charlie. And they fall away. Back the other way, Hall. We got a whistle behind. We'll, yeah. Time out. I'm not. This full time out. Let's just stay right here with only 22 seconds left and uh, talk about it. I think he may kill himself. Well, he, he had an open look going to the bucket. Yep. And uh, called the time out. But Odia, uh, she just. Uh, you know, got in there in the front court. She knew she got down deep, didn't want to get trapped, and was trying to get it back out. And just more or less threw a blind pass right into uh, Lindsey Wilson's hand. Well, you know what they're doing? They're, they're not making crisp passes right now. Right. Yeah. You know, if you're going to throw that ball, you you got to wing it back out there. And this is the thing about it, Charlie. You know, you don't want to give up a three-point shot right here. I, yeah. Shot clock's all. Don't, don't want to give two seconds. Yeah, you don't want to give them the and one either. Don't want to give them the and one. You know, if we're going to make, if we're going to get a shot, make sure it's going to be a two-point shot. The worst you can do is come out with a tie ball game. So they're trying to get the uh, coaches, I guess, prized to what they're fighting. The, a timeout situation. I, I think they, uh, from what I can tell, the uh, official there was uh, one timeout each way, it looked like. And I think you both got a 30, too, I think. Okay. Out front with it. Lindsay, they go down to Hall. Hall drive, shot up. And nice good. Move. 13 seconds, plenty of time, Charlie. Yep. Get a good look here. You got time. Mullins with it. Mullins back in the end, shot up, good! 2.7 seconds left, Lindsey trying to get it in. And here she comes, they give it up, there's a three, no good! And that's the ball game, the Bears win it, 61-59, and avenge an earlier loss to Lindsey Wilson. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Led three times in the game. Yeah. And the biggest lead was two points. Yeah. 